Good morning, Christ the King. Good morning, Mr. Hoffer. It's so good to see all of you. Happy Monday. God bless you. It's Monday, January 11th. Welcome back to school as we start our second week in 2021. And we're so excited about that. And let's begin as we always do with our beautiful school prayer that we are able to thank God for the things that he's given us. So let's begin and remember that we're in God's presence. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Father in heaven, thank you for sending Jesus to be our Savior and our friend. Help us always to know him, love him, and serve him in his kingdom. Help us to be our best in all that we do. Help us to be kind and think of others. We are a family in Christ. Thank you, God, that we are kids of the kingdom. Amen. We're going to continue our prayer this morning with the Our Father. We're going to pray this together as a community, remembering the beautiful things that God has promised us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And finally, our intentions today. Who do we need to pray for? Uh, who needs a prayer in our lives? Who can we lift up to God? Two, what prayers do we need to ask for ourselves? Okay, what do we need to come to God with? And three, what are those thanksgivings, those beautiful things God has presented us in our lives that we need to be thankful for? I want you to take a second and think about those. Put those intentions in your heart. Okay, think about them throughout the day. And every time you do, let's say another Hail Mary as together we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Very good. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's say the Pledge of Allegiance together this morning. As we honor our country and those who have served it, hands over our hearts. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Excellent. And we look at these every day, our root beliefs. These are the things that are foundational for us. These are the things that we know are true about our community here at Christ the King. Okay. Um, God made us for heaven. It's the first one on there. Love it. Let's focus on that this week, knowing that, yeah, God created us for up there, but guess what? We start that down here, okay? We become God's gift to others here on earth. So God made us for heaven. He did, all right? But that means we have the job to do here on earth too, all right? And how do we do that? By following our core values every day. So let's do this. Every day we do our best to know, love, serve, lead, and grow. Okay, fantastic. Announcements. Um, full week this week, but after we finish this week, we get a three-day weekend because you get next Monday off. So, hey, that's great. But we have business to take care of this week. We have star testing this week. That is so important. So if you're taking your star test, I would just ask that you take that seriously. It tells us where you are as a student and what we need to do to help you get better. Okay. So those are super important. Take those seriously this week as you go through it. All right. Um, birthdays. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sophie Brumley. Happy birthday to you. Sophie had a big birthday yesterday, the 10th. So we want to wish her a happy birthday, Sophie. Uh, I hope you had a great birthday party. Um, I heard it involved getting nails done, which is awesome. So I hope that was fantastic. Uh, and I hope you had a great day. Okay, we love you and so does God. Shout outs. I didn't get any shout outs for Monday, but that's okay. I'm sure I will get some more coming in this week. So if you have a shout out for a friend or for a teacher, please let me know. Okay, send it to me. Joke of the day. I got a great joke of the day. Uh, this is from Sam Clinton. He invented this joke, which I think is really good. Okay. Uh, what do you call an animal cracker that eats other animal crackers? A cannibal cracker. <laughs> I 
I like that. Sam, it's pretty funny, man. Good joke. Okay. And our character trait this week, oh no, it didn't change. Anyway, you know what? We'll start with this one today. We can still have hope. All right. And I promise I'll change it tomorrow. Um, it didn't go through, but that's okay. Our character trait this week will be not hope, but we can still have hope. So let's have hope today. Okay. Let's start Monday with hope. It's finding optimism. We know that and having joy in what God has in store for us. So how do we have hope? We just know that God's with us. That's hopeful. Okay. God has a plan for us. That's hopeful. So let's start Monday full of hope and we'll have a new character trait tomorrow. Okay. But the most important thing out of all of this, out of the whole morning assembly after prayer, the most important thing to understand is this. God loves you so much. He has an awesome plan for your life. I want you to remember that always, no matter what, no matter how good life is or how bad life gets sometimes, God has a plan for you and he has a plan for your life and it's beautiful. Trust in that, have hope in that and make today a great start to your week. We love you. Bye.